Ah, uh, yes, am to our. Hello, my name is Angry Badger, and welcome to another Metroid 2 remake. Or, well, am to our. Uh, am to our is actually a remake of the Century. Century. Sec. Blech, English is hard. It's actually a remake of the second Metroid game. Hence the name, uh, another Metroid 2 remake. I know, but on the nose. That's the size of the point, though. Right now, I'm gonna play the. Ent my goal is to play this entire game and do my very best to show you how amazing Metroid is. As you can tell, I'm a huge Metroid fan. Like, really big one. Like, really big. Um, I actually got back into Metroid when I was like eight with um, the blasphemy that is known as Metroid Other M. I know. I started with that, the worst game in the series. I actually, if I was any older, I would have said the game was awful and would have written off. Luckily, I was six. Eight, not, not six, eight. So, I didn't really care. But, you know, how does the game work? What's the sexual niceness to nice you? How cool it is. I just cared about the game itself. And, honestly, at that point, I didn't really mind. Well, so, alright, whatever, I'm just playing him. If I point to put any game in front of me, I probably would have played it. As long as I can understand the control scheme. So, I played in uh, Metroid 2. I played it a lot. Uh, not Metroid 2, um, Metroid Other M. And, you know, I thought it was pretty cool. I thought Metroid was pretty nice. And I wasn't really a huge Metroid fan until I played Super Metroid. Um, I forget the reason for it, but I remember my dad got Super Metroid, and oh, I played that game. To be completely fair, when I started the game, I couldn't even get past the first boss, the uh, Torizo. I actually had my friend help me with that. Uh, someone's going from your Texas. I don't want your tall. All right. So basically, I did, so I basically that's how I start. My dad, where was I? Yeah, my dad got Metroid, Super Metroid, and I just could not put it down. Oh, it only requires one missile. I forgot. It's been a while since I played it. And back then, I just, uh, I mean, I played Super Metroid to death. It was so much fun, really. It, I just enjoyed it. I had fun playing it. It was the greatest. Alright, so I played back, so then, okay, wait, first boss. I should actually probably, I'll come back to the story. But first, I should probably explain the premise of the game. The premise is, um, yeah, as you can see, kill Metroids. If I had any skill, I'd actually... Now, I'm gonna blame this on the fact that it's always harder to play when talking. Because I've beaten the entire game, I swear if I could die to you. Okay, good. I was gonna say, I swear if I die to you. The first Metroid already dead, wow. Look at Lee go. Oh, I love this effect. Dun, 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 dun. Alright, where was I? Oh yeah. So I played Super Metroid. I actually couldn't get past the first boss. My friend had to do it for me. You might know him. He's a uh, Captain Badger. Uh, Ca not Captain Badger. He's a uh, Captain Smith. He had to beat the first boss, the Teresa, for me. But after that, I was actually pretty smooth sailing. I managed to get pretty far after that. Um, and I loved the game. I absolutely adored it. I all up to Ridley, and I could never beat him. Um, I recently did get Metroid, Super Metroid back, and I did beat Re Ridley. And let me tell you, that was amazing. I beat the entire game. I 100%ed it because you know it's awesome. And I've been a ever since the Super, I've been an avid Metroid fan since. Played most of the classic games, with the exception of Fusion. Just never got around to playing it. I have it, so I'm going around playing it. Um, and I always wanted to record a Metroid game. So I was thinking to myself, all right, what Metroid game can I record? Well, I, there's a lot of them. Super Metroid's a great game, and I mean, probably could do that. But, there, but then I decided, you know what, let's do a game where it's all about the fans, because this is a fan-made game. So I decided, just for the heck of it, we're going to do a game made by the fans. Uh, am 2 has a really tragic story, and I won't, you know, go over it, but just know that it's a tragic story about, like, the pretty much Nintendo shut it down because reasons. Alright. Alright, so I decided to do Metroid 2. Uh, I am 2R. And you know what? I think, so I'm basically going to play. I've already beaten the game a few times, and I've 
I've, I actually haven't beaten the end in hard mode yet. I've been trying to, just haven't gone around to it. You know how that goes. So I said, hey, why not? Let's do this. Let's do it on a hard mode, just for the sake of it. So you can see me struggle relentlessly as everyone else has an actual skill to be able to beat the game. Oh, yeah. I hate you guys. Oh, lava, 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 lava. Lava's bad. Well, actually, it's more. And actually, in, in more recent games, it's acid. Um, no, bad. I don't want to die. I'm at seven. Something like that. Which is not a good thing. So, I was gonna say, if I swear, if I drop in the lava, I'm going to be very upset. Actually, I was 37, whatever. Regardless, that's not the point. The point is I decided to do this AM2R. They actually didn't, uh, they actually did an official release of Metroid 2 Remake, and let me tell you, it is amazing, it's cool, I'm happy that they did it, I'm glad how they portrayed Samus, it's really good. I love the Ridley Valfa site spoilers. And you will not believe how hyped I was the second they announced Ridley for Smash Brothers. Like, I was the guy who was constantly yelling in the for Smash 4, just like, bring Ridley to Smash Bros, bring Ridley to Smash Bros, oh I want Ridley. And the second he got announced, I was flipping out. Seriously, I was just flipping out, I was like, yes, yes, give us more, yes, and then give us Dark Samus, and I was like, oh yes, it's even better, give us some more, give us some more. Then they announced Metroid Prime 4, well, actually they did that before, but that's besides the point, it was like, oh yes, Metroid Prime 4 is so great, uh, why am I keep on running off the platform like a freaking idiot? It's not even the first time I, okay, let's not run off the platform. Anyways, so I was so excited. And then you know they then you know they announced that Metro Prime 4 had to be cancelled and I was like, aww. But I mean on the bright side, we got retro studios on the mix, so that'll be nice. Look at me doing speedrun stretch. Except an actual speedrun would be better at this than I would. Then you get some cool music going on already. See, there it is, the cool music. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be quiet unless I let the music play for a bit. Alright, I think I have uh, gone through the music enough because we're gonna get our first power up. Bombs. Oh, give me a second. Oh, sorry about that interruption. Even Samus was getting bored of my boringness. So let's actually get back to the game. Where was I? this uh d so anyways where was i uh, i don't remember uh, just in case you were wondering what was going on oh yeah bombs that's where i was at bombs our first power up is bombs now i know we can just bomb this we need to go around here sometimes it's more fun but to just ah uh, yes let's go You have this, which gets you a fire up. And our first energy tank of the game. Um, I don't think I'm going to 100% the game, I'm just going to play it. I just don't, it. I just don't think I'll 100% it. So yeah, if you came here for like 100% play, uh, I'm sorry. Kind of probably not gonna do that. 
I might, but... I'm mistaken, this is another place we need to power up. I do believe this is... Yes. This is actually my personal favorite part of the entire game. Also, Samus Dance. Samus Dance is best. I love doing the Samus Dance. Anyways, let's get the power-up. This is my personal favorite power-up because it's so useful. It's always played in the game. I just use it too much. The charge beam. I forget if it's in this place or somewhere else that they have the extra bombs, because I know there are a lot of places where they have the extra power-ups. Charge Beam is so useful in this game, I just love it. And you get this and you get this really cool function where if you charge your beam. Alright, now. Because I'm kind of an elitist. I don't want to go through all you these all the morons. I'm just gonna jump up. Now there's a blocked door over there. Anyways, that's besides the point. Right now the point is. So basically, the charge beam is really cool. Why do I love it in this game? Well, because it just, look at it, look at it. It's so pleasing just to shoot this giant ball of flame. You also have, you know, your scoot, pseudo screw tech. I remember trying to get this power up in uh, the original Metro 2. It's so... Annoying. Honestly, it is. And I do believe it's in here. Which is you go into Morph Ball and just start bombing a bunch. And yep, you get to this puzzle. Which is a fun little puzzle. I like it. I messed the puzzle up already. Normally, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go get the spider ball, but where's the fun in that? Now, normally I, I use I use the uh, keyboard, but just, I decided just for the simplicity, I'm just gonna mess around with the uh, which what it recommends doing. messed up. That's a problem with a wall jump. You just mess up once. But regardless, a good player can actually just wall jump. I'm not a good player. And you know what? like the fact that music isn't playing. I know exactly what this bug is and I'll be right back because I know how to fix it. So I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. I'm sorry, I just had to restart the game basically is what you do. Alright, now, now with the spider ball you can do that. Activating the spiral ball will let you climb up walls, which is super useful. And yeah, all the games to have to, all the power ups, more the morph ball. I feel like this is one of the less important ones. 
Alright, now I'm gonna f no, I'm gonna shut up so I can pl beat this Metroid. Also, some fun things you can do is as follows. That. <sighs> now we scale. This is a fun place to scale, but it always ends up killing me for some reason or other. Now, yeah, what to talk about? I don't know what I'll talk about. History of the Spark Morph Ball. Actually, I can't describe much about the Morph Ball. I can just tell you a bit. Uh, I'm a Metroid fan, but not. I don't know everything about the, Metro about the Morph Ball, though. This is a weird one, because it's just an important power up. Anyways, the idea behind the Morph Ball is. The original reason was created is because, you know, they didn't want to program. They, they didn't know how to program. Sorry, they didn't want to animate Samus crawling. So, they just made a Morph Ball. Just animate a ball. I hate you all, but anyways. Now, the, as for that, um, um, if I can just not be an idiot for like 10 seconds, I'll be able to do this perfectly fine. Thank you. Okay. Clarification. I'm an idiot. And... I couldn't do that for the life of me. Still and do the failure. Wow, first try. Go me. Wall jumping is a, has always been a major part, especially the Super Metroid. Like, watch a speed run, you'll see how much they wall jump, and you'll be thinking, dear goodness, it's a lot of wall jumping. I figure for this first episode, I'm going to give you guys a bit more footage than I normally would. So I'm just going to be running down and going down the hallway. Now, the fun thing about this game is, as you probably should have told and I probably told you earlier, the main objective of it is to kill Metroids. To exterminate the entire planet, I hope you would know that by now. And you might be thinking, well, aren't Metroids those weird hus- what about Well, why are the Metroids, um... Actually, I'm going to do my second favorite thing ever. I can do it right. Yep, that's uh, that's what's known as bomb jumping. It was actually the first skill I learned how to do. I learned that back in Super Metroid. With all the abilities to do it. I actually probably turned the logbook entry off. Believe me, I love the extra lore that this game offers. But it's just, I'm not gonna be le reading it with the game record, so.
Okay, sorry about that. It's like, uh, I'm gonna be being quiet most during most of the times that I'm actually, you know, fighting the bosses. Just for simple measure of... I'm not particularly good with playing and fighting. I mean, for like, most of the one-off boss bosses and stuff like that, I'll do it, but... But for like, the bosses that you're gonna f see me fight over and over, I'm gonna be doing... Like, it's mainly the Metroids, like... I swear if I lose to you, I'm going to be very cross. I'm going to die to you, aren't I? Yeah, I'm going to go uh, heal up. Because I don't want to die. I don't want to lose all the progress. Okay, sorry, I had to finish up that. So now that that's over, let's go fight those Metroids. Now, anyone with actual skill would never, ever need to be able to, you know, have to go back over and over. I'm not someone with actual skill, we've had this discussion. I s don't knock me out of- I hate you too, Metroid. Ah, uh, yes, Metroids, and I had to go back and chase that, so, yeah, Spetafurge is one of my best friends. Wait, what am I doing? I don't even know. Let's just get rid of this Metroid, and by getting rid of I mean run away, because I'm not going to be able to fight like this. out of missiles. Finally! That took me longer than it even needed to. And it's not like it's a very difficult. It's very difficult. They're actually pretty simple, pretty easy fights. Never, and I've played them hard mode and I've had no trouble with them. I can't wait to see the boss I have trouble with. Because there are a few bosses I actually do have a lot of trouble with. Oh, those bosses are going to be fun. So much fun. Alright. So we're gonna leave this area and we're actually gonna have one more thing to excite you all. Just one. Meet this guy.
Uh, it's all about memorizing patterns at this boss. It's the yellows that get me. I keep wanting to duck. I embrace my death. The yellows are supposed to jump over. It's not hard. Promise you. Okay, there it goes. Alright. Let's try this again. Yay, you're dead. Alright. That's your save, and I think that'll be all for this episode. Oh. Oh, I'm already a failure. But hey. That, I hope that isn't an omen for future episodes, and for now, that's all I have for AM2R. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, bye, I guess.